Well, you know, whether it's a gin and tonic or rum and coke, Bloody Mary, you name it, today is the day to crack open a can, folks, because it is International Canned Cocktail Day. Did you even know there was such a thing? Well, you know who does? It's Nick Britsky. He is here to help us out. Nick Britsky from Nick Drinks at Night. And do you have a favorite, by the way, canned cocktail? You know what? It really depends on my mood. If yeah. I can stomach 42% alcohol, I love this guy. Okay, I, when I saw this, I'm like, is this a joke? Is this, this, this is real? Well, this think is a real about drink. it. So you take a giant drink, and this yeah. is like at 6%. Right. But, you know, when you want straight booze, you just get a little teeny guy. <laughs> So what is that one? It's an old-fashioned. Okay. So if you think of the old-fashioned recipe, it's bitters, it's whiskey, it's sugar. Right. You need a little teeny one or you're going to really True. get on your, boot, on your butt. That's a good point. Yeah. One can goes a long way when you're, when you're talking about that. But there's so many Michigan brands, too. So, yes, we have some international, but we have uh, Detroit City Distillery. Excellent. We have New Holland. Mm -hmm. We have Copper and Kings, or uh, sorry, not Copper Kings, Copper Craft, who just won a U.S. Spirits Award. Really? Yep. So they're doing Congrats great. Congrats to them. Sellermans, um, great Michigan Sellermans. products. Absolutely. Blake's. I have tried this one, and this one, tell us a little bit about this tonic, because, you know, when you think of cocktails, you can't forget, you know, some of the, the, the lighter fare. Absolutely. So this is a, a gin and tonic, but it's a little different because they add some cucumber and some ginger. Mm -hmm. So it's lighter. It's super refreshing. Blake's definitely known for their ciders. Absolutely. Just got a great write-up in the Free Press by Robert Allen, so they're doing good stuff out there. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So these two in the front. So Cutwater just, just launched in Michigan. Okay. They have the most varieties of any canned cocktail. It's around 20 different really? varieties. I don't think we have them all yet, but um, here's a couple that I actually bought in New York, funny enough. And the uh, Bloody Mary, which I believe is that guy right there, yeah. this one always gets written up for National Post. It has really good flavor. Mm -hmm. It has a great um, taste. And uh, this one gets really good awards. Well, I have to ask you, a lot of people might be thinking, OK, canned cocktails. Sure. Wouldn't it be better, obviously, to make it on your Well, most of the time, yes. Mm -hmm. When do you think it's, it's good to think about the canned cocktail? So typically when I get home, I don't want to make a cocktail. Right. I've been doing it all day. Yes. I want to drink a beer. If I could drink a cocktail that is still delicious, you still get that same great flavor, that same variety of tastes, and get a cocktail. So that's when I think it's a good time. You're going to the beach, you're going to the game. Sure, yeah. This is a great time to do that. Now, chilled, they should be chilled though. Yep, absolutely. And cans are great because aluminum takes the heat, mm -hmm. so you can really get a nice good chill on it. These guys have been out for a little bit. You can still feel how nice and cold they are. Oh, absolutely, so, dark and yeah. stormy. Oh my God, this is one of the best too. This one yeah. always gets great write-ups as well. Do you have a favorite? You know what? I mean, again, I really like the low and slow, but mm -hmm. copper, um, the, uh, the, gin and, uh, the gin and tonic is great. It's easy, it's simple, it's light, really good. Now we have to, to share um, some pictures that you brought us yeah. um, from your show recently. Tell us about it. I do. I have a cable access show. So it's basically Wayne's World with booze and a Muppet. <laughs> and I a interviewed Muppet. Nick Offerman, which was a oh, lot of fun. Oh, fantastic. He's hilarious. He was really good. Um, yeah. We have a show tonight. We're going to talk about canned cocktails. So yeah, if you are trolling Channel 18, you know, cable access, there's like two other people. You can watch it with us. It'll be great. You know what? You are always so creative. You have the best <laughs> energy. And obviously, you know what you're talking about when it comes to beverages. I can so. fake it, yeah. Whatevers. <laughs> Nick Britsky, thank you so much. And people can find you online. Yep. You can find me at nickdrinks.com or at nbritsky. Come check me out, please. All right. Always the best. Is there one I can sample here please. as we're Let's heading out? Let's do the dark and stormy. Oh. That is so delicious. Why don't we start the day on a dark and stormy note? Only if you have a sip. I Only if too. you have a sip. Go for it. Oh you my do that. goodness. Okay. I'm going to do a Moscow Mule. This will meal. be a first for me. Okay. Mm. Woo! That has a kick. Absolutely. Oh, cheers. cheers. I'm sorry. I went ahead. I haven't got us some oh, oh, definitely. Top it off. Mm. Nick, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Go Lions and go Tigers.